You have to get That's those true. emotes coming out. But before that, game one, losers finals, Pokemon Stadium two. Also, amazing pick on the music. Uh, no, yeah, he's just gonna go deep because I guess you can. I mean, that was like an accident, bro. But we're Either way, Frozen played it off. Yeah, he he got back to the stage, but already took a hefty amount of damage. Right, so again, we got Inkling coming out with the roller. Now, while that ink's on the ground, the opponent's movement speed is lessened a bit, so they don't get a, as much movement as they wanted. It only lasts a little bit, though, because the ink disappears relatively quickly. And now he's out of ink. Time to push the envelope. Now, I, I touched on this briefly when we saw uh, John Numbers fight, facing off against Sinji in the winner's finals, but uh, Inkling is really good at zone breaking. A very fast character and has a lot of moves that allow you to just interrupt what your opponent's doing, break into your own combos. I feel like you're gonna see more of the same of that against Palutena because, again, she's a zoning style character and she's forcing someone to be at that mid range. She doesn't want anyone super far because Inkling can just get um, the ink back, start throwing splat bombs, shoot with a splatter shot, and just cover the, uh, the space. But moving too close, it's Inkling's combo game. Yeah. But he's not afraid to move in close, man. He's got that neutral air going off stage with that warp, trying to cancel it into a forward air. You see Frozen moving with this character. He wants to win this tournament. Again, he was one of the two players that was, like, voted to po potentially win this tournament. He is making the loser's run of his life to get that run back. Again, explosive flame. Bro, it just kill. kills. I just, it shocks me every time he has that much you literally knockback. My god. Like, not even as a figure of speech, you just explode. Disintegration. Neutral air, great combo starter. Try to get the grab follow up. No punish coming from John. Grab, uh, grabs do have a lot more of the cooldown afterwards, so they're super punishable this time around. Yeah, grabs low key kind of booty right now, especially because, mm. most importantly, what grabs can normally counter shields. Shields are kind of booty right now, too. And because of these factors, you're going to see players going for trades a lot more, going for just back off, stave off the offensive, and just try to match out with a better hitbox. And Smash Ultimate, damage in 1v1s are way more than in free-for-alls. That's why we're seeing people, like, take a hefty amount of damage in these matches. Okay, trying to go for that roller. Avoiding the splat bomb. See, this is the point when Frozen has a little bit of ink on him, which is going to lower his defense. Definitely wants to chill back and wait for that ink to wear off. I, I get to really see John Numbers go for, like, a pummel. A j off of a jab that tries to try to uh, put ink as much as possible onto his opponent. The reflect coming out. I haven't seen that too often. The yeah. down B is like a combination of both the counter and the reflect. You know, it either yeah. does the physical attack and uh, projectiles. Unlike how Smash 4, there were two separate moves that you could equip. Yeah, I want to know what went behind the design process of Palutena for this game where they were like, wow, we really designed this character like 16 times over. Why don't we just do it all at once? Yeah, that was godlike. I mean, hey. We're seeing the Palutena here in Losers Finals, so clearly something went right. We have ourselves a winning game here. Oh, got the roll. Unfortunately for John, he didn't cancel it in time, so didn't get the kill. Good call out with that up smash, though. Knew exactly what he was going to warp into. If you get predictable with those, it's very similar to, like, Pikachu's up B, or Quick Attack, which is like, if you know where they're going to land, you can easily get a punish. Got a good kill coming from John is Numbers. Forward tilt? Yes, sir. All right. You just pistol with him. It was with that little uh, water gun. Wow, he's going so deep for that down oh, air. Oh, no. He's put in a bad spot. John was trying to get that early gimp. Only takes 21 John, damage. John might have actually saved him at some point interacting with them just because teleporting directly upwards into the ceiling of Pokemon Stadium, definitely not the best place you want to place yourself regardless of having increased movement. A splatter shot putting a lot of ink on Frozen. A lot of people's instinct is to try to challenge that, but instead you just take so much damage in the process and you are completely inked up. If you're maxed ink, that is 1.8 times more damage, but it does not matter. Get that grab, back throw into Oblivion. Now Frozen just trying to wait out the time while he's got ink on him, doing a good job of just trying to space away with Explosive Flame. Auto reticle, a little bit more useful in this matchup from uh, what we saw previously. Um, but well, that's just because Inkling's movement a little bit more linear. Even though Inkling has really good movement, he can't really do too much with it. Got that back here again. Okay, just trying to open him up with that up till numbers looking for that opening, gets the grab. 102%. Good call out from Frozen. Recognizing that numbers was just gonna go for that dash dance, waiting for that opening. And that looked like a 
Honestly, he knew that he was going to mash out that fast, so he just wanted to go for a quick burst option with that dash attack. I like it, but I feel like he could have Oh, he's put in a bad spot. He got a wall spiked with that back air. Frozen. Taken away. Losing game one to John Numbers. Dude, look at how oppressive Inkling is at the ledge, though. Like, we're sent so far off stage, and, and Frozen really can't move anywhere else. He had to avoid the spot bomb. He had to avoid the forward air. Like, there's only so much you could do, man. Yeah. All right, next game is going to be taking us to Battlefield. Think, think about those counter picks. Well, the thing is, like in this tournament, guys, we have 10 legal stages right now with two stage bans. So you got the normal five starters, right? It's going to be Smashville, Battlefield, Final Destination, Kalos Pokemon League, and Pokemon Stadium 2 as the five starters. And for the counter picks, we have Lilac Cruise, Town and City, Yoshi's Story, Yoshi's Island, and I am missing one. Did you say Lilac Cruise? Yes. Did you say Kalos? Yes. Did you say I Counter Nova? picks. Oh, oh, Unova. That's one I missed. Yeah. There you go. You got it. All right. Here we go. We're here on Smash. Oh, back here? We've seen Frozen put the stage to excellent use before. Now it's time to see if you can do it against... It's right. So far, not too yeah, hard. No, I'm just going to stop while I'm ahead because I can't sleep on numbers. Thank you. The thing is, Numbers is off to a, a fantastic start right off the bat because he's getting that, he's consistently getting those back airs on the ledge whenever uh, Frozen goes for a warp recovery. It's like Numbers knows he's going to go for it, so yeah. you might as well try to answer. Gets the roller again. Just people, they fall down to the ground. They don't expect Numbers to just do it raw because honestly, a splat roller, not the safest option to go for because if you shield that, you're, this inkling is wide open for a punishment. You but could, it's a high risk, high reward, you know? You could shield it. You could uh, trade with it. It doesn't have that great of a uh, hitbox. Also, you could just jump if you're in position, too. And now Frozen sitting at super high percent, but not for long. He is sent flying. Two stocks away for John to get his rematch against Sinji in Grand Finals. <laughs> Again, uh, trying to challenge the splatter shot. I think that that's the option that Frozen is starting to realize that he has to go for. He has to jump over the splatter shot, go for the fastball, and then get the punish afterwards. Which is why he might have chosen Smashville as a stage of choice. Gives him that little platform in the middle of the stage to allow for uh, vertical mobility. Yeah, the the movement options that Frozen gets out of that platform just makes it such an immeasurably good stage. It might be good to remember in the future to keep it away from him. But nonetheless, John has put it to excellent use as well. He's really just been mollifying this match to being from ledge to ledge. And if the, mat the battle's taking part at the ledge, it doesn't matter how well Frozen can use that platform. It's just a no point. Frozen was trying to get that counter against the forward smash. Ends up whiffing it. Got a free punish coming from John. Again, splatter shots coming out abound from John. I mean, there's no reason not to with the wind box that the bullets have on them keeping you at a distance. It's super safe from John to start just waving the splatter shot around from a distance. Look Trying at the to... shield pressure. Yeah, but the thing is, it's good to apply that shield pressure. It's good to just take the shield pressure because that splatter shot wastes the ink from Inkling. It does, however, I feel like the way that John is using it, he's doing it in a way that it's like, yeah, he's forcing you out of shield, now the next interaction gets you off stage, and then he just recharges his ink again. Although, Frozen finally coming out with a response, he's gonna be able to take a stock, but he's still sitting at 107%. He's gotta figure out a better way to get in on John in this. Okay, good spacing coming out from Frozen, doing those retreating back airs and forward airs, just apply shield pressure, force numbers to pick an option. For that overhead, just shields it right back at him. Neutral air, the combo starts, begins. I think neutral air seems to be one of the better tools for Frozen to use in this situation, just because even if he's not able to link it into a combo, he is able to drag numbers around with it, and mispositioning Inkling, it seems to be super important, and this is a clean chain of attacks from Frozen. That was a great sequence oh, of events. Oh, it ended just, so tragically. Just to end like that? Oh, no. We'll see if Frozen can pick up the slack here. I mean, he just needs one up smash away, or down smash. The down smash is kind of kind of bad, kind of bad, kind of bad, Austin. Well, I mean, I've never seen him use it, so he's looking for something. I mean, it covers a lot of options. Manages to go for roll, to easily catch the opponent. Just goes for the simple back air, not have to get that kill just yet, even though the crowd was cheering in the background. Or tell to push him back off. Free oh. punish. Hello? What? Frozen. All right, there it is. Explosive now he's got flame. It. And thankfully for Frozen, not a lot of percentage built up during that time. 44%. It's not the best to sit in, but it could be worse. 
And this could be another reason why Frozen picked the stage. Allowed him to do that warp cancel on the edge of the Smashville platform right in the middle of the stage. Gives him some hip Are you oh, serious? no. Up Smash is going to end Frozen, you it. deserve that, dog. You were <laughs> Jake got so goofy at the end of it. I don't know. Maybe yes. it, Nerves might have played a factor, honestly. Like, like he literally goes back and forth. Man. And he just he whiffed it. He didn't. Uh, when John went for the turnaround, he like outpositioned himself, so he just whiffed the neutral air. And John's like, "Okay, I'm gonna keep painting." <laughs> like that is like that was definitely a game of Splatoon two, on uh when you're just trying to like paint the floors or whatever. And that's just the like, one player just going, "Oh, I'm just painting the floors." He just ran over it, dude, yeah. by accident. That's exactly what just happened. So John, taking out Frozen for third place, is gonna move on to grand finals to get the run back against Sinji again. You guys aren't sick of John numbers for Sinji from 2015. Here it is again.